It is a beautifully sunny day today. You can see the sun streaming in through that window behind me there. I am currently in the studio. I'm trying to get lots and lots done today because I'm preparing for a trip down to London. Now, the first thing I've got to do is actually unbox some products that arrived in the studio just yesterday. Let's take a closer look. Now, the first thing I want to show you is this. I'm not going to take it out of the box in this video. This is the Park Slope for MacBook. And the reason I'm keeping this in the box is when Apple update their MacBooks this year, I'm going to actually get one into the studio. I didn't get one in when they first released the new MacBook. But this time around, I'm going to sort of go to a smaller laptop, something that's more portable, still perfectly capable of editing 4K video. And this is going to be an ideal companion for it. Now, next up, I was sent this box here from Joby. So I'm not sure what's in here. So we're going to have a look inside together. But no doubt this is going to be very, very useful. Ah, nice. Very cool indeed. This is going to be very useful. Wow. Another, oh, another little one down the bottom there. Let's pop that over there. So what we've got in here is their Gorillapod Focus and their Ballhead X. Very, very useful. Actually, this, ah, oh, awesome. This is the tripod that Casey Neistat uses, where he holds his uh, DSLR out. I think he uses a Canon 70D for most of his videos. This is gonna be really useful. Fully articulating legs and this quick release plate as well. I'm not gonna be holding a DSLR out like that. I prefer to use my compact camera for my uh, sort of travel videos. But this is gonna be very, very handy indeed. And what they've also put in the box is another ball head X. So I can mount the second quick release plate to another camera and then switch between the two very quickly. Very, very cool. Absolutely love it. Just look at the quality on that as well. It looks superb. Thank you very, very much to Joby for sending this out. And then here, we've got a slightly smaller version. This is their Gorillapod SLR Zoom. So this is a slightly smaller one. Let's have a look inside here. Okay, cool. So this one, is a lot more compact. It comes with a 3 8 inch head and a quarter inch screw head on here as well. Uh, no sort of quick release plate as on the larger one, but again, fully articulating, and I can see this being really useful as well. Very, very strong. I wasn't expecting it to be that strong. I've had smaller Gorilla Pods before. In fact, I think I've reviewed this many, many years ago. Uh, the larger one, but this SLR Zoom looks like it's going to be really handy as well. I just love the way they do these. Very, very cool. So again, a big, big thank you to Joby for sending me out these two bits of kit. So I've got one other thing to unbox for you today, and it's sitting over here on the desk, and it gives me a great opportunity to show you both the Asus C720 and also put the Joby Gorillapod Focus into use. So I've got the Ballhead X currently on the back of my camera, and I can just put it onto the quick release plate, and we are ready to go. Very, very useful indeed. Great. So this is the Acer Chromebook C720. Now, in all fairness, this has been out for a long, long time. My wife was previously using an HP 11 Chromebook. It developed a fault. Uh, Google could not replace it with the same laptop, so they sent me out one of these. And I'm probably gonna use this for a little project. Now, my wife hardly ever used the Chromebook, so she hasn't even noticed that it's gone, <laughs> that it's been exchanged for this. She loves Apple products as well, and I think I'm going to actually try and make this look more like an Apple product. Not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I will show you in a future video. So anyway, we've got a setup guide for the C720. We've also got the 
Chromebook itself. We've got some more documentation in the bottom of the box. We've got the power supply inside this section here. Let's dump all this back in the box and get rid of the box. And we'll take a closer look at this little tiny laptop. Now this isn't gonna be powerful. You're not gonna be able to do sort of video editing on it or anything, but most people use their laptops for email, uh, browsing the internet, maybe editing the odd document, and this is gonna be more than capable of that. So let's take a look inside. Wow, looks really nice. It was really good of them to actually exchange that uh, HP 11 for, oh, it's come straight on as well, without me doing anything. They did, they preset it up. Very, very cool. Oh, nice. Let's just, uh, let me just pop a website on. Connect to wireless first, then put the website on. This is very interesting for you, isn't it? There we go, not bad at all. Now, excuse the flickering on the screen, that's just due to the refresh rate on the camera. It doesn't flicker in uh, sort of real life. And it, it looks really nice. Does it go any brighter than that? Where's my brightness? So that's the brightest it goes. Very cool, nice. Nice layout to the keyboard, nice trackpad, decent laptop. And as I was saying, most people do browsing of the internet, communications, uh, editing the occasional document. Uh, we can put things like Excel online on here, Word online, and use the Microsoft applications it says down here some of the specifications we've got here free apps available which we already know built-in security automatic updates 100 gigabytes of google drive free for two years virus protection built in seven seconds fast boot up eight and a half hours battery life and ssd or solid state drive data access i think this has got 32 gigabytes of storage two gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Celeron dual core processor. So again, not the fastest of laptops, but a really nice keyboard on here. Very, very impressed with that. And it feels very well made. What have we got port wise? So on this side here, we've got an SD card memory card slot. We've also got USB. We've also got a Kensington lock, some LED lights just down here. Along this side here, we've got a super speed USB 3 port. We've also got HDMI, headphones, and the power adapter there. And then across the back, what's underneath this slot here? Does this come out? That doesn't come out. I assume that's a blanking plate. You can probably get one with 3G in. Then we've just got some vents. It is all plastic. It is made of plastic, but what can you expect? I think these retail for around about £199. But I think it's really good. I've just got to work out how I'm going to make this more Apple-like. How am I going to Apple-fy this Acer Chromebook C720? Leave me some comments below. Yet another opportunity to test out the Joby Gorillapod Focus. So, I want to give you an update on how my click and grow smart herb garden is going and i showed you this in a previous video basically this is a little sort of smart herb garden these come pre-seeded it has got a light on the top i can turn this on and voila it gives light to the plants but let's turn that off for now and the light is just to sort of increase or enhance the growing time and I had these little sort of capsules over these two previously, but now they've grown large enough to take those little dome-shaped capsules off. I've got some geeky basil here, which is growing uh, 4th of February, so this is about two weeks. I've also got another basil here called Mr. Cleese. Comments in the comment section below if you know why I've called that Mr. Cleese. And then over here, this is a little bit disappointing. There is nothing growing. It has been two weeks and my mint is not growing in this last capsule, so I'm not quite sure what's gone wrong here. There's also a little sort of reservoir underneath inside this plastic container where you pour the water inside here, and this is a little float. 
and as long as the float is sort of up towards the top of the container you know there's plenty of water inside the canister below so these two really really pleased with the result Ui is not growing So I'm currently on a bit of a mission. I have come down to make some inquiries about getting something done to my BMW. And I've also bought the Acer Chromebook as well, just to see if this particular company could help me make it look a bit more like an Apple MacBook. <sighs> Well that was a complete amateur fail. I should have rung ahead of time to check they were open. They've actually been closed for about a week, week and a half. They're closed for a few more days before they reopen. And I'll have to come back to revisit what I've got planned for the car and also for that Acer Chromebook. Milo, you know if I don't put you on the video, people will not be happy, will they? How are you today? How are you today, mister? You all right? Yeah? You're nice and warm next to the radiator, aren't you? Yeah, you're a good boy. Does that taste good? Yeah, I'm all licky now. Yeah. <laughs>